Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter five, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, you might wanna pause this for just a second and write this down. So when it's asking for factors, we think of it like a factory. So it's the, it's the numbers that make up the number we're given. So if we're given eight, then the factor would be one and eight and two and four. That's how we get eight. That's how we make eight, okay? So that's how we make it. Okay, the factor is how we make it, okay, in the factory, okay? Multiples is just when we multiply the number that's given. So if we multiply the 8, we would get 8, 15, 24, or 32. Those are multiples. It's just how many times you multiply it, okay? So you might want to pause that, write that down, keep it with you, okay? All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to be using a multiplication chart today to make it a little bit easier for you guys and um, to be able to see what it is that we're doing, okay? So is the number a multiple of eight, right? Yes or no? Well, if we multiply eight by something, can we get eight? Obviously, yes. We're going to multiply eight by one to get eight. Can we multiply eight to get 20? Well, let's go down eight. You can get to 16, you can get to 24, but not to 20. So no. Can you multiply eight to get to 40? Go down eight. Five times gets you 40. Yes. Okay, now list the next nine multiples of each number. Okay, so four, starting with four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, 36, and 40. Okay. Now we're gonna list our multiples of seven, okay? So seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, uh, 56, 63, yep, and 70, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we're good. Okay. Now we're going to list the ones that they have in common. Okay. Well, eight, no, 14, no, 12, no, 16, no, 20, no. They do both have a 28. And it looks like that's about it. So common multiples is just 28. That's it, guys. Done. Okay. Okay, sorry, again, didn't turn to the page, but I needed to in my book, so, okay, so, now we're going to list our next multiples of three, okay, wants us to list the next nine multiples, which means the one that you end up with, because it's giving you the first one, is going to be the one that you multiplied by 10, so for three, it would be 30, okay, so when you get to 30, you can stop, okay, so, three, six, nine, twelve, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30, okay? Nine, again, we're gonna stop at 90 because it's giving us the first one and we need to do nine more. So nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90, okay? I'm going to list the ones that they have in common, okay? Well, they have 18 in common. They have 27 in common. And that's it. So, 18, 27, okay? Oh, sorry, they also have nine. We started with nine on this one. So, sorry, they also have nine. Okay, so we're going to start. Multiples of six. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Thirty. Thirty-six. Forty-two. Forty-eight. 
54 and 60, okay? Multiples of eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. Okay, so now we need to go through and circle the ones they have in common. Okay, well, making sure that this time I look at six and eight, the rest of the other ones don't have those. Okay, so, but we do have 24. We do have 48 in both of them. And it looks like that's it. So 24 or 48, and that's it. Okay. All right. All right. So the number they're giving us is 24. Okay. Is it a factor or a multiple of the number or neither? Okay. All right. So obviously, six is not a multiple of 24 because I can't multiply 24 by anything and get six. Okay. But I can multiply six and get to 24. So multiple okay 36 can i multiply 24 and get 36 no because 24 times 2 is 48 okay i can't multiply anything and get to 36 that is close to 24 so that's going to be a neither okay now 48 well, 22, or sorry, 24 times 2 is 48. So it's going to be, ugh, sorry, y'all. I gave you multiple factor. You multiply 6 to get, it's a factor up because we, multi we use 6 in the factory to make 24. So sorry, guys. 48 is the multiple. Very early in the morning, this way his brain shut off. Okay. Ken paid $12 for two magazines. The cost of each magazine was a multiple of $3. What are the possible prices of the magazines? So, all right. So, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Okay. That's how we make 12. Okay was a multiple of three, okay? Well, three is a multiple of three, six is a multiple of three, and 12 is a multiple of three, okay? So, oh, sorry, for two magazines, I'm sorry. So, okay, so we just need, a multiple of three that is smaller than 12, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Again, three, six, nine, and 12. Well, it's two magazines, so it can't be 12, right? It would be $12 for one, and the other one would be free. So it would be three, six, or nine dollars. So three dollars, six dollars, or nine dollars, okay? Okay. All right. Jody bought some shirts for $6 each. Marge bought some shirts for $8 each. The girls spent the same amount of money on shirts. What is the least amount they could have spent? Okay. So multiples of six, multiples of eight until we get common ones. Okay, we did five of those. Let's do five of the of eight to see what we get in common, okay? 16, 24, 32, and 40, okay? It looks like the smallest number they have in common is 24, okay? $24, okay? All right, 
We're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. as always, by yourselves. Okay, we're going to go down to the power view. It says Jenny has 50 square tiles. She arranges the tiles into rectangular array of four rows. How many tiles will be left over? Well, 50 divided by four, guys. Okay, four is going to go into five. One time, one times four is four. Subtract and get one. One is smaller than four. So I'm going to bring down my zero. Four is going to go into 10, two times. Two times four is eight. 10 minus eight is two. Two tiles left over. Okay. All right. Jerome added two numbers. The sum was 83. One of the numbers was 45. What was the other number? So all we're going to do is take that 83 and subtract that 45 to find the other number. Three can't take away five, so I'm gonna borrow one. That makes that seven and that 13. 13 take away five is eight, and seven take away four is three. So, 38. Okay, all right. There are 18 rows of seats in the auditorium. There are 24 seats in each row. How many seats are in the auditorium? Well, 24. Times 18. Do it. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 3 is 19. Tick, tack, toe. And then 1 times 24 is 24. Add them up. Okay. 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 2 is 4. 432. Eighteen rows, twenty-four seats. How many seats? There you go. Okay. Make sure that you stop long enough to write your work down. Okay. All right. Okay. The population of Riverdale is six thousand three hundred. Sorry, six thousand seven hundred and thirty-five. What is the value of the seven? Well, the seven. So six, seven, three, five, and we love these because. What's the value of the seven means that the seven drops down and everything after it becomes a zero. 700. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 5.4. Come on back for 5.5. See you soon.